Good morning. My topic is impossible objects. Impossible objects originally meant 3D structure that could not exist as actual physical object. They could only be represented in pictures, but they are not necessarily impossible because there are some tricks by which we can construct 3D object. For example, this is a picture of an impossible object called Penrose rectangle and its 3D realization. I made it from, pic uh, from paper using the trick which I found. The actual shape can be understood if we change our viewpoint. The trick here is that we use the angles other than 90 degrees where they look rectangular. So I call this trick non-rectangularity trick. And using this trick, we can construct many 3D objects from pictures of impossible objects. And I named them as the first generation because uh, I found many other types of object which may be called impossible object. So my definition of impossible objects are the following. They are the 3D structures that give us the impression that appearance is impossible or behavior is impossible or motion is impossible. Let me show several generations one by one by example. The second generation is the impossible motion. We have a <laughs> roof, but the boards put on it behaves like that. The behavior looks like impossible, but that's simply because of the optical illusion. I have a sound, but it doesn't work. Anyway, the center of the roof is not the highest top, but the bottom of the ballet. And so the balls rolls downhill according to the gravity. This is the second generation. And the third generation is the ambiguous cylinders, in which the direct view of the object and its mirror image differs completely. It's just an optical illusion. Thank you very much. This is the third generation of my impossible objects. And the fourth generation is partly invisible objects. Okay, the direct view of the object is a hexagonal cylinder on its side, but in the mirror, the lower half disappears. The true shape is that the lower half is a horizontal picture <laughs> instead of the 3D structures. And so it's completely hidden behind the upper half, like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the fifth generation is a topology disturbing objects in which not only the shape of the object, but also way of connection changes in the mirror. And this object is included in the gift exchange set, and so please enjoy yourself. <laughs> Thank you. And the sixth generation is a deformable object. Here we have an arrow facing rightward, and I try to turn it to the left, but in vain. It likes to face light work. Even if we turn it slowly, it's difficult to understand what is the true shape. <laughs> okay, the seventh generation is a height reversal object. This is an example. There are two staircases, one is above the other, but in the mirror, the height seems to be reversed. And the eighth gen generation is a reflexively fused object in which direct view of the object looks nonsense, but if we put it on the horizontal mirror, the object shape and its mirror image all together gives a complete shape of meaningful something like that. 
Now I have shown you eight generations of impossible objects, and some examples are shown in the exhibition room where you can enjoy actual, real, impossible objects instead of videos. Thank you very much.